So PPI is a group that calls themselves progressive. Um, they're the Progressive Policy Institute, but they also uh, say they're, quote, radically pragmatic, which should be a giant red flag because that's you know, just a sign of centrism and corporatism more than anything else. Uh, well, they did a poll on Medicare for All, and I want to show you the results. So first of all, they say, unexpectedly strong support for nationalized health care. I like how they put unexpectedly. And then you see there, among all people, 54% support, Democrat, 61% support, Republican, 47% support, uh, Independent, 75% support, uh, White, 52% support, African American, 63% support, Women, 53% support. So actually, this is a poll that has slightly different results from things we've seen recently, because there's one poll that had 70% of the American people supporting um, Medicare for All, and you had... 52% of Republicans supporting Medicare for All. So this is actually on the lower end of polls when it comes to Medicare for All. But even with that being the case, in the overwhelming majority of categories, people support Medicare for All. But um, it's hilarious because this is corporate Democrats now coming to realize that they've totally lost the framing battle. The Republicans are even worse, and they've, lo they've lost the framing battle in a thousand ways. I mean, now Paul Ryan going around saying... Medicare for all is Medicare for none. That makes sense, and I'm an intellectual. I mean, it's just so stupid. It's really, like, it's stunning how stupid it is. So, um, it's great to see that they lost, and, and people have woken up, man. I mean, they, they were able to for so long through rank propaganda and fear-mongering and hammering at home, they were able to make the American people think universal health care was impossible and or a bad idea. Now, even with that massive propaganda, they're losing. And that's because you can only suppress the truth for so long, and now there's a very loud and aggressive champion on this issue who's the most popular politician in America, Bernie Sanders. You have this giant movement now pushing these issues front and center. And wait until we do the full court press, and we keep fighting, and eventually these numbers, they're just going to keep going up. It's going to be like universal background checks, like 90-some-odd percent at a certain point. So go ahead, keep trying to fight the wave, but it ain't going to work. And uh, it's not unexpected support anymore. You should totally expect it, because now all of the polls show it.